All right, folks, so here we go with Resident Evil 6 again, and here's a cutscene I've never seen before. <laughs> the glorious white room. Jake's glorious uh, polygonal pecs. Polygonal pecs. I don't understand why you wait six months to do that. <laughs> you know how like on the cutscene it says six months later? Oh, okay. Because, um... I don't know. <laughs> At least you gave it an honest effort. <laughs> Not really. At least I know what the fuck I'm doing this time. I mean, this is the first time we've played this. Alright, I guess I'm gonna... Ooh. Shit. I feel like I should have taken the skill that gives you more uh, stamina for this part. Oh yeah, that would have been helpful, huh? Oh, I gotta grab the stupid keycard, which I can't even see because everything's white. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't have to mash X. I mean, that's how you do it in real life. You know, it's such a struggle to pick up an item. Yeah, let alone something that weighs like an eighteenth of a pound. <laughs> yes, an eighteenth. That exact figure. Yeah, you measured it. Look like dick. <laughs> Alright, this is the, um... Like the Phantom Pain trailer here, except with a a hole with tits, rather than Reefer Sutherland <laughs> knocking down Christmas trees. <laughs> oh shit! Do you do you get a stun rod for this part? Yeah. I don't get shit. Except my bare motherfucking nice fist. Shitty prison cell. It's been a real slice of heaven. Who can so just have escaped from their quarters? Permission to use firearms. That shit ain't fair, nigga. Jesus didn't do shit to you. I, I wanted to find that part in the uh. <laughs> Video, but I didn't. Man, she's never doing shit to no one. You be persecuting that motherfucker left and right. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> he got some motherfucking sins and they nailed his ass. <laughs> shit is serious. Don't joke. Yeah. It's not funny. Serious business. <laughs> Wait, you don't agree with my religious views? I'm gonna get mad and walk out. <laughs> I'm cutting the power now. Tossing my salad now. <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta beat all these fools. Except I have no fucking stamina, so I'm gonna try to push that stupid... Thing I'm supposed to push, apparently. Motherfucker. Fuck! Fuck! I'm coming! It's kind of weird that there's like a slight stealth mechanic in this section. 
They like yeah, lose. But not, not in the, literally the rest of the game. Yeah. They kind of lose sight of you. Alright, I think I'm coming now. Yes, I am. Hopefully I can use that gun turret or whatever. Fucking hate this game. What are you talking about? Game of the year. Shut oh, Shock's got nothing on this. What? Bioshock? <laughs> yeah, that game's shit. I can't tell if that's you down the hallway, but... Yeah, I'm pretty much about to die. Again. Oh, big surprise. I'm having fun. How about you? Oh, that's a nice panty shot, though. Thanks for that. I kind of enjoyed that. But well, we can try this again. I think I'll leave the panty shot in. <laughs> oh, good. We can start here, at least. Try to run to this hallway with a gun turret or something, because it seems like I can... Uh... Oh, wait. I can look through multiple rooms. See if I can help you out. Oh, no. Look at the fucking... Fuck! This... I Now I remember. You have what? to look at the camera of the guy opening the door. Oh. Well, let's see what I can see here. At least I'm not getting way too worked up about this. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Just like, uh... Fucking Boondock Saints last night. Right. Okay, I see you on the camera. I'm just shot near you. Okay, yeah, there's a turret. Um, switch to the other camera in the locker room. Okay. Are you there? Yeah. Alright. A guy should spawn there. Oh yeah, he just came just... in. So I gotta watch him? Yeah. And tell me what he puts in for the code. I do not even tell what he puts in. All I see him is pushing buttons. Uh-oh. Well, here, I'll just shoot these guys in the... Wait. Oh, it won't let me shoot. This isn't a turret. It's just a camera. Yeah, but God forbid they make it fucking... Good. <laughs> okay, well, you opened it somehow, so that works. Oh, shit. Bunch of guys in here. In the office. Whatever. Hopefully I can't hurt you with these shots. Oh, hey, there's a serpent emblem up there. Where? Where? Do you see where I'm standing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. In the bookshelf. Alright, got that shit. Does that hurt you? Nah. Okay, good. You have to watch him here. Because I can see this panel clearly. Alright. Is there somewhere for you to hide? Yeah. But we killed all the guys. Unless it's the same code, it might be. I'm gonna try that. Anti shot. Hell yeah! Oh no. Shut up. Shut up, you cunt muscle. <laughs> I mean, shut up! <laughs> oh shit, there's a guy in the room he came from. Okay, I don't know what to do, but I think I'm done with the camera because there's nothing else I can see where you're going. I think. Okay. I gotta input a code to get mine open. I don't know how though. What was the code you just used? Fucking. It's, um. All right, the first one in the second row. Yeah. Twice. Okay. Oh, the first one in the second row. Wait, no. What does it, what does it look like? It's got. It's got a fucking. Is it like the square? Yeah, it's. Well, the first. The top row has like a 
double uh, oval, and then... Yeah, okay, sorry, the first one on the first row. Okay. Do that twice, then the second one on the... Then the first one on the second row. Okay. Oh, it worked. Nice. Thanks for that, pal. Yay! I don't know how we were supposed to legitimately do that, but... Whatever, it works. Dirty cheaters. Yeah, we're pretty bad people, in my opinion. We wanted old school Resident Evil puzzles, and now we fucking cheated our way out of one. <laughs> <laughs> Such assholes. We're never satisfied. Aw, oh, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't even looked away. You should just, like, <laughs> ogled that shit. <laughs> ogled. Where are we? China. Obviously, but where? Why? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, just look at that ass! Look at that what what ass. <laughs> Plenty. That ass. So something about that booty. To enhance the C virus. That oh, booty. No. What else did they say? By booty, I mean Jake's, obviously. Albert Wesker. What? Take that as a yes. They talked about him a lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused. Are you paying attention? This is important. Took it for I know. It's he revelation. Turning himself into some kind of monster. You know, I thought dear old dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, no, no. He was actually a freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? That nothing of who my father was didn't somehow get passed on down to me? You of all people should know that's true. Just saying. Deep. And then I am. I agree. Things that I've done. I have a fucking firearm now. At least it all makes a little bit more sense now. You don't need that. You're not fighting throngs of enemies. What? You can blame your Nah, this is a survival horror game. Point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Oh shit. She told that nigga. <laughs> quit whining about your daddy issues. <laughs> Fuck you and fuck your dad. I want to kill shit. <laughs> what is this, Resident Evil? Oh. I kind of want to replay the Leon campaign, because that was actually good. That was actually a Resident Evil game. I have to let my superiors know I'm okay. <laughs> Almost. But first, we need a way to contact them. Actually, I just want to replay Resident Evil 4. Cut the bullshit. Actually, I just want to replay Resident Evil Remake and cut all the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be the uh, least amount of bullshit. <laughs> I still, I still need to uh, finish Resident Evil Two. You still need to play through the entire series. That too. I need to as well, actually. I have to, uh, I still have to do the player campaign. I only ever did the Leon. And then you gotta do, uh, scenarios B for both of them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because the story, I think, changes slightly as well for each character, so... It's really worth doing all, all four campaigns. Doesn't it change depending on the order you do it into or something? Well, it's just like, uh, you play Claire's B scenario, if you 
play Leon's A scenario. The only thing that really changes is like what items you leave for the other character in the B scenario. Yeah. But yeah. I kind of want to get uh, Code Veronica X HD on PSN because I was looking at some videos of it and it actually has like improved lighting effects and oh really water effects and stuff. But this is a pretty good game in general. I have that shit on Dreamcast. I used to, but I fucked up my disc a long time ago. Oh really? Yeah, all That's... I have is the case. I do have it on uh, PS2 and GameCube though, the, the fucking Code Veronica X version. Oh, I'm on GameCube. I just got an ID medal. Yeah, me too. Holy shit, man, this shit is hardcore Resident Evil. Picking up items and shit. I just took myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it, though, like... Think of... Okay, so there was Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, right? Those yeah. are relatively good, you would say. And they all kind of follow the same general, like, gameplay style. Actual survival horror. Yeah. So, and then you think of, like, Resident Evil 4. Yeah. And so far, there hasn't really been a good game like Resident Evil 4 yet. Yeah. Well, did you ever play Shadows of the Dam? No. What's that? That's by Shinji Mikami and uh, the No More Heroes developer. Yeah. It's not really scary, but, like, from oh, a well, game... I'm talking about, like, a Resident Evil game, though. Oh, okay. Like... They had, like, Resident Evil 5. Okay. Yeah, like, the closest thing is probably Revelations, but even that is still, like, like barely on par with 4. <laughs> yeah, although I do have to say Revelations actually is scary. Yeah, some parts, yeah. Definitely. But, yeah, my point is there were, like, a lot of good Resident Evil games that... I kept old thing going on. Yeah. But once they switched to like the more action y gameplay, they just over fucking did it. Pretty much the last thing they did that was anything old school was, uh. What the hell is this shit? Was, uh, fucking. Resident Evil 1 for DS. I think oh. that came out after 4. I mean, it was just a port of Resident Evil 1, but it had a lot of new features, like like first-person knifing sequences and, like, rearranged levels and stuff, which was kind of cool, but... You have it? Yeah, I do. It's kind of rare now, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Fortunately. It's pretty place. good, though. It's a nice port. Yeah, that's like the last kind of classic style Resident Evil project they did, even though it's just a port. Right. They say they're gonna go back to it, but honestly, I'm just waiting for that Evil Within game. That used to be Project Y or whatever. Yeah, that looks cool. Just so you know. Shit starts getting ridiculous now, and it doesn't stop until the <laughs> campaign ends. Okay, yeah. I've... Oh wait, I got all my firearms now? Okay. I thought I just had the pistol. I didn't even realize I had my whole arsenal. Just killed that nigga. But yeah, that trailer was pretty cool. Like... Even though it was just like a, like a full motion video, as yeah. opposed to a video that isn't full motion, but you have to put coins in that thing. The west. But I need medals. It says it takes ten medals to gain passage to the east. Ten medals? I only got four. Fuck. I guess we got to go looking. I think you have to put what you can in there, though. 
Oh, okay. I think it opens a door if you put some in, I think. Alright, let's just do all these. But yeah, the atmosphere in that trailer was fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty fucking ridiculous. Hopefully it has that actual survival type gameplay. I'm sure it will though, I trust Mikami more than I do Capcom at this point. What do you mean, this turned out good? I know, it's so classic. Here, follow me over this way. I mean, I totally remember when the Resident Evil series was about jumping over rooftops with a motorcycle. Uh-oh. And flying a Harrier jet attacking an aircraft carrier. Yeah, that was in Resident Evil 3, remember? <laughs> Yeah, it's like the whole game was spent just trying to get to a helicopter. Have you doing for the past six months? <laughs> this is just like, uh, so you, here's this Harrier. Go blow up some fucking gun emplacements. Jeez, I'm sorry. Deep. Yeah, we gotta pay attention here. I like how you can go into lockers too. Like it's fucking MGS. <laughs> Oh, there you are. So what do we got going on in here? Got a mansion-looking setting to make us uh, tricked into thinking this is a Resident Evil game. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here in this room. Oh, shit, here's an emblem. All right, I'm coming. Hey, guys. At least this does kind of look like a Resident Evil setting in this part, but... It's just, like, cosmetic. It's not really... Doesn't make the game a Resident Evil game. It just makes it look kinda like one. Yeah, kinda. Not even a lot. <laughs> just a little bit. Just like an homage. I mean, this is a decent game in my opinion, but... Not a fucking Resident Evil game still. Decent shooter. Yeah. I can really be sad about it. I love fighting guys close range with a sniper rifle. Makes a lot of sense. Dudes in fucking... Like, stylish designer suits. Wearing masks. Yeah. Who are infected. Wielding fucking light machine guns. This is what Ari is all about. <laughs> So when does it get ridiculous? Oh wait. <laughs> We're getting close. As if it isn't already. Yeah, what is with this fucking item collecting and puzzle solving shit? This isn't what Resident Evil's about. Fucking faggots. See, that's the thing though, like, it's not what this Resident Evil is about. They're like, not used to it. Holy shit, look at that Chinese nigga. Look at all them medals. That nigga's pimping. <laughs> Kim Jong Il? Yeah. <laughs> this uh, shit cool. looks like. But it's fucking China, it's not fucking North Korea, what the hell? I mean, yeah, China's still pretty fucked, but. I mean, China is great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live there. First rule of China. We do not talk about China. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Fucking... Rat-looking... Dog-looking... Mutant things. Whatever the fuck they are. Oh. Another medal. So we got five. Do you have any? Yeah, we just need one more. We share them. Okay. I'm assuming we... Okay, I'm following you. I do kind of like this level design here, at least. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Too bad it gets ruined. <laughs> when the actual yeah. play starts. I can't wait. Fuck. There's one wait for the survival horror to fall apart in front of us. 
Yeah, I'm in like a watery fountain area. Nothing here. Oh. More bitches in suits. I have not gotten like any ammo. Oh, now I have some. Good. Oh, I found it. Aw, oh, nigga. One of these little caves. Did I miss any items up here? This room. Nothing good. Nigga. Nice painting there. Very artistic. More like autistic. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking autistic paintings. Okay, there's a bitch in a designer suit right here that I need to kill. What is this shit? What's with this hallway? It leads back to the main room where we put the things in. Alright. I'm waiting to put the final coin in until you get here. I just got another medal? Oh yeah, there's extra ones. Oh, is there? Okay. It opened this secret fucking agate fairy door. Fucking fairies. Bag. <laughs> Cuddle. Bag. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Headed back. So much en enthusiasm there. Kinda like that cover on YouTube. <laughs> Was he even played through an ab? Uh, possibly. With like no effects and just like through a mic. A well done cover. Alright, it's about to get retarded. It's about to get fucking ballin', more like. That's that bitch I attacked earlier. He's fucking coming after us. Fuck this nigga. Nigga ain't got shit. They done nailed his ass to the cross. <coughs> Man, Jesus Christ, never did shit to know. What the fuck is wrong with that motherfucking Jew? <laughs> That's some straight up bullshit. <coughs> At least I'm not high. High on life, you mean? Yes. No, Don't on this crap cocaine. Hello. It's all right. Why don't you call your boss? Handy dandy futuristic it's cell phone. Sherry birthday. <laughs> yeah, he's okay. What year is this? At a facility <laughs> in China. Really? All I'm sorry, I, but you Sherry, time. you suck. They're already <laughs> here in China. It's over. We're saved. Oh, hallelujah. So you ready? It's over. Time to shut the power off. Yeah, too bad there's three more chapters we have to do. <laughs> and then another campaign. Which is apparently Not very easy. Huh? Which is apparently very easy. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you had a jolly old time playing that. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see when we play it. I'm not fucking playing it alone. It's not worth the frustration. I'm not goddamn What's funny is it was originally designed to be played alone. Till they patched it. Didn't Let's they go. only add in the co-op? Yeah. Good. Patch. I was sick of this place anyway. All right. Ready? Oh my God. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nope. Are you kidding me? Oh wow. We <laughs> have. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking really funny, actually. That's what he said. <laughs> 
Alright, it's time for fucking Battlefield 3. Apparently. Might as well just put in Battlefield 3 at this point. Oh, this fucking stupid cunt can't fucking swing across the fucking things. Okay, that's my oh. job, I guess. Yeah, can you lift me up? Yeah, I'll come up there. Well, this tank is fucking killing us. Why don't we have javelin missiles that solves everything? Ah, oh, fucking... the jazz. Good thing I'm not, like, being utterly distracted here. Alright, I'm swinging across. Hopefully I'm headed towards you. I'm not up there yet. You have to lift me up from the ground. Oh, okay. You can find where the fuck you are. Oh, okay. I hit back. So I'm hiding. The fucking grasshopper bitch. And a tank. Okay, where you at, nigga? Oh shit, that fucking grasshopper got it. Okay, I'm right by you. Where, do, where should we go? Uh, oh, over here. You have to lift me up. Right here? Alright. Yeah. Go for it. Or not. Or not. Or I'm gonna die. That too. I think we need to clear these guys out. With all the glorious ammo we have. Oh, wonderful. I'll just go over and uh, pick you up here. Motivational speech. Shoot you up with some hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> Alright. Ronald McDonald's bag of hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> I watched that a couple days ago, actually. <laughs> Every once in a while, I need to see that again. Oh, what a fucking load of fucking shit. Alright, well, at least we know I should just throw your ass up there. Throw your whole ass. Fucking slut. And why does it keep going to fucking left handed? Because. Because. I'm gonna throw your ass up after this fucking <laughs> tank. Are you kidding me? Oh, Why? Give me, give me! Rippy! 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 <laughs> hey, mostly come on at night, mostly. Alright, I'm coming up there. Yo, fuck you niggas. Why is there snipers in a Resident Evil game, honestly? I don't know. I don't know. Smarter people than us. Maybe you should know. It's your responsibility to know. Why the hell is it my responsibility? Cause you're the cause you're the ultimate Resident Evil fan. I am. <laughs> <laughs> At least uh pre uh fucking PS2 era. <laughs> oh, is it time to run now? <laughs> A straight hallway. It must be time to run. Yup. Wow, how did I guess it? What? You can shoot me while I'm running? That's fair. So how the fuck do I avoid that? Just running left and right? Oh, shit. Oh, wonderful. Good thing I knew there was going to be a door on the left. I know, right? I was running <laughs> to the wall for about 10 seconds before I realized that. <laughs> totally fair. It's okay. You, you just don't get it. At least there's a checkpoint immediately before that. Thus negating any of the horror and survival horror, or the survival, for that matter. God, what the hell? They're running the opposite direction. What the hell? 
You have to run away from where he's pointing like he... Okay. Fucking... Oh, what did they do this series? It was so good during Leon's campaign, then it turned into this. Right? I was like... <laughs> it was good during Leon's campaign. It's Honestly, like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, what the fuck happened? Like, as soon as that ended, like, the game just went to shit. Like, I thought... I thought the Jake one would even be a little bit better, but it wasn't. Yeah, because they made, they hyped it up to look like the uh, homage to Resident Evil 3 with the Nemesis. But it's not. <laughs> it's fucking not. Oh, great. The tank again. Oh, my God! Okay, now where do we go? This way? God, enough already! Enough already? Are people that stupid? I guess they are. I'll buy it. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I pressured you too, so it's my fault. My bad. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> the sixty dollars right down the shitter. <laughs> could be worse. You could have bought uh, Madden 2013. Or the same game, Madden 98, that I saw in <laughs> Celebration on me. I actually own one Madden game. Do you? Yeah, but it's the 3DO Madden. I think it came with my system. Hey, you are actually playing it. Yeah, you it was okay, I mean... Nothing. At that point, it was like... A big improvement from the 16-bit games, but now it's just like the same thing over and over. You gotta swing across on that thing. Uh, okay. Cause I can't Special skills. Swing. Yeah, apparently women can't swing. <laughs> How the hell do I get over there? I swing off that statue and I got to the right angle. What the fuck happened to you, Resident Evil? I'm having fun. I know, this is just... I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Okay, I'm supposed to swing on the statue. How do I get it to rotate back into position? I don't know. I don't know, I don't care. Fuck this game. Just a few more hits. What the fuck is he talking about? What am... God, fuck you, Jake. Fuck you, whoever designed this campaign. Okay, I gotta wait for the stupid tank to hit it. Why would you... you oh, my God. Statue. I know. Let's make a fucking statue with a pole to swing on it, and you have to wait for a tank to run into it. That makes a lot of sense. Let's just not, let's not design the game around realistic, uh, survival situations. Let's just make a fucking tank that has to run into a fucking Chinese statue to make it spin, which, that doesn't even make sense. Why would running into it make it spin? <laughs> fucking assholes, man. <laughs> Pissed. <laughs> it, it, it's literally anxiety provoking, I told you. What the fuck is wrong with them? Like, are you like angry right now? Um, yeah, angry and bewildered. <laughs> Just straight up confused. I know. Like, okay, I'm not even gonna talk about. It. Let's not talk about it till the next fucking problem arises. <laughs> but, and you can bitch again. The whole fucking game's a problem. Did you get the motorcycle yet? What? Don't even say that word to me. Alright, well, I'm about to die. Well, I'm in a fucking car show, so I guess. I gotta grab this fucking... There. Okay, now I have a fucking gay-ass motorcycle. Thanks, asshole. It's your fault. I didn't know I made you buy this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
wonderful. I can just imagine how great this is going to be. <clears throat> All right. I suppose I'll throw the new controls in my face right here. Oh no. End of chapter. All right. Well, let's see this next part. This should be fucking. Let's blow this joint. More like let's smoke a joint to try to ease the pain of this fucking game. Pretty much. <clears throat> Do you want to keep going? Well, yeah. I can't stop now. <laughs> Why would you stop now at this point? It's just getting good. Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry. It's only three more chapters long. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Um, that makes me feel worse, actually. Yeah, yeah there's more of this. I don't know, I saw one of the reviews said that when Ada's campaign comes around, it returns to the survival horror of Leon's campaign, but I'll believe it when I see it. Well, the difficult, uh, something to be said about the difficulty, you kind of have to be stealthy. Yeah. The guys one-on-one. -on -one. Speaking of survival horror, it's time for a fucking motorcycle action scene. We'll be there soon. Huh. What did he say? He gave me the rendezvous coordinates. It's close. Oh, the helicopter chasing us. This just screams fucking horror. I mean, why don't they just make this a different game? Just call it something else. It might have been cool then. <clears throat> you would have different expectations. And it might have been like, oh wow, this is a great action game. They could call it Call of Jake, or Metal of Jake, like I said before. I'm having fun. Oh, I bet. Shooting a helicopter from the back. I'm seeing you to go through this fucking shit again, even though you already beat it. Huh. It's like, do you want to be tortured again? Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? I just want to get to the Ada campaign. Oh my god, Jake! Oh my god, you weren't fucking kidding, were you? Nope. Oh my god, what the f fuck is going on? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Uh, it only gets worse. You mean better? Yup. <laughs> Same thing. And where is the skill involved here? I'm just like driving in a straight line and then a cutscene happens. Plenty of skill. Hey, you know what game I want to play? Uh, Battlefield. I was gonna say anything but this. Oh, well, like yeah, this. that works. Did you ever play uh, Johnny Stranglehold? Oh yeah, I got that game. I actually have that game on PS3 and oh wait, fucked up. Yeah, I got that game on PS3 and 360 for some reason. Really? I just I wanted the PS3 version as well. I originally bought it on 360, but I wanted the uh, the one with the copy of uh, the movie on it. Uh, whatever it's called, I forgot the name. Oh my god, I'm fucking up now. I'm sorry, I'm a little drunk. I'm driving like a drunk. <laughs> the thing is, a video game and not real life. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. I don't know. Oh, oh. I'll like, accelerate there. Make sure we don't glide. No, it's just that, it's probably not that I'm drunk, it's that I'm expecting to drive in a straight line, and now all of a sudden I'm not supposed to. Okay. 
Okay. Another Perf cutscene? Cool. Personally, I like the part with the, uh, the, the dude with the RPG in slow motion. Yeah. Oh, no, QTE. Excellent. I have to slam the square button to hold on to the helicopter. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll accept that, I guess. Ripley. Yeah, Stranglehold was uh, fuck, pretty good. Um, in a way, it was more like Max Payne than Max Payne 3 was. Because in Max Payne 3, you gotta, like, do a lot of like cover mechanics where stranglehold you can just run out and shoot everything. Yeah, that's true. Not that Max Payne 3 wasn't good, it was really good, but it was yeah. more of a cover shooter. Max Payne 3 was crazy good, but it definitely was different. What the f Oh my god! There's a cute shooter yeah. right the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Oh, you throw a fucking QT in my face, you assholes. Guess what? You're in a driving sequence, but you know what? We're gonna make you do a QT out of the blue. It's okay. That's really it's fucking... Beforehand. Oh, this is so super duper cool. Oh my god, shoot it, bro. I mean, sister. <laughs> shoot it, bro. <laughs> Attack its weak point for massive damage. Vroom, vroom. This is a terrible camera angle for this part. Oh my god. No! No! Fuck you. Oh my god, what? What game is this? <laughs> Ripley! Oh look! Another QTE! Oh hey, there was a QTE there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all right, here we go. Oh, flaming shit barrel. Or flaming <laughs> whatever the fuck. Ah, where the fuck do I go? Okay, QG coming up, bro. Fl flaming Ripley. <laughs> oh my god! Resident Evil Six, folks. Oh, flaming shipmobile. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this Resident Evil? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay. Okay, dodge the flaming shipmobiles, okay? When's the next QT, folks? You decide. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Nice pop-in vehicles. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. Okay, I asked for skill-based gameplay, but this isn't skill-based. This is, uh... Fucking <laughs> vehicles popping into view. Memorize the path. <laughs> Based. <laughs> I told you. Okay. I do. Why am I holding the accelerator? I feel like I have to go as fast as possible. Plus there is a time limit, I don't know. I'll try to slow it yeah, down. Yeah, go as fast as possible so we can finish this and do something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to stop after we beat this, get to the next save point. Oh, shitmobile. Rookie mobile. I asked for skill gameplay, not fucking trial and error. Oh my god. Oh, you fucking... What are you kicking me? What is this, Road Rash? <laughs> oh, no, that was a great game. This? Not so much. This isn't Road Rash, this is, uh... Medal of Jake Road Rash. Coupled with Paul of Chris. 
Chris, that nigga never did shit. <laughs> Man, you give me shit to know. <laughs> okay, I feel a QT coming on here. As if we didn't have enough problems. Yeah, that's what I said, like, the moment I started this campaign. Here we go! Hold on! Oh my god, this is so epic! <laughs> You have, to, you have to go off that thing. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> oh my god, Jake! You just give me a hard on. Oh my god, bro. Straight up the best. I almost don't want to stop now after that shit. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually. Gonna do what I said and buy a second copy of this game because it's that good. Yeah, I mean, you gotta support them, show your love. I mean, they could have just taken Leon's campaign and stretched it out through the whole game, and that would have been fine. Yeah, at least it would have been something. Just ramp up the enemy types and throw in some different sequences and puzzles or something. But no. They had to have us riding a fucking motorcycle, dodging flaming shitmobiles. Oh, there's fucking Call of Chris now. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Whoever made this, fuck you. Okay, well. Saved. Shall we endure the... Fucking bullshit. At least we're not on a motorcycle. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm definitely gonna buy a second copy of this game. I know, I mean... You just know everything about pacing in a video game. Okay, so there's helicopters shooting at us still. And there's some enemies. And I'd like to extract some ammo from these niggas, but uh... I think we need to. Oh, we gotta eliminate all enemies. Okay, never mind. I thought we could leave, but I guess not. So, what? We gotta avoid the spotlight, or what? I think so. Wow. What a horror title. Well, I am scared of that helicopter. <laughs> I guess. You know, if you want a good horror game, you should buy uh, Siren Blood Curse on PSN. That's that's an actual horror game. Yeah, I remember playing the demo for that. It was pretty good. It's just kind of short, but it's pretty good. It would be better to import the physical copy because that one's uncensored and it's a physical copy. That's just better overall, but. No, I like paying money for something I can't touch. Yeah, I was thinking of picking up some fucking music plugins. Drop some recording like plugins. I mean, I've got like a a video game collection worth at least like twenty thousand, twenty five thousand dollars. I could Yeah, you can get like five or six plugins. Oh, nice. I could be like those famous recording artists and not pirate anything. I mean, I don't pirate anything. Legit only for me, folks. Straight and narrow. That's the path I walk. <laughs> As if the eyes of a ranger were upon you? Well, yeah, that's what keeps me in line. I mean, wouldn't you be fearful knowing that Chuck Norris would fucking roundhouse kick you at any moment? Fuck. I suppose you have a point. Oh, fuck. Now I talked about Walker. It's something I'd rather be doing than playing this game, is watching Walker. <clears throat> but, uh, let's just play this next section, because at least we're not on a motorcycle, like I said. Might as well keep going. You have a sniper rifle, right? Ah, uh, yes I do. Am I supposed to snipe these icons that are pointing me in the right direction? I guess so. Yeah, probably. I can't reach them, niggas. Alright, 
Alright, let's see. Like gay hair. Oh, no. gay fucking. Okay, grasshoppers riding a helicopter. Wow, that's scary. I actually shot myself a little bit. Okay, I gotta try to. No point in lying, right? Well, yeah. I mean, who needs slow, tension-building scenarios? We just throw a fucking helicopter at you with uh, grasshoppers on it. Done deal. God, this fucker keeps moving. Every time I start aiming at him, he swings around the other side. Wow, this is skill-based gameplay, folks. I bet you people watching this wish... Uh, I would have played this the first time it came out and showed you my reaction. But, uh, yeah, you get what you get. Oh, there we go. One more grasshopper and. yeah. And then this shit continues, apparently. For two more chapters. Or three more, I don't know. I hope it's two more. Oh, cutscene. Okay. <laughs> Roll explosions. Oh! A pole to swing I we'd on. Be here wow. all night. This way! Okay! Oh my god, a pole. Okay, I'll run that way, bro. Oh, I can't swing on the pole, I'm a woman. Fucking fairy. Probably want to cuddle after this. Fucking fag. <laughs> oh wait, here's a ladder. That's more appropriate for a woman. Yeah, I guess so. Since women can't swing. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that. But uh, this door would take two to get through. I guess it would. I think I have the elephant killer. Oh, I have a submachine gun. Full of ammo. That works. I'll use that. Okay, uh, Medal of Jake continues. Oh, more grasshopper bitches. Wow, I killed him in one shot? Ow. Thought they were grasshopper hoes. Thought you were supposed to be a badass and shit. Yeah, I kind of like the developers were making up this game as they go. Not going too well for him, is it? We're like, okay, we had a great Leon campaign. Let's just, like, turn into Gears of War with Chris. And then we're going to turn into Road Rash with uh, Jace. That's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I actually was really disappointed when I started the Chris campaign. Because I thought the whole game was going to be as good as... Uh, Leon's. Leon, yeah. You gotta swing across on that thing. Oh, deep. Let's kill these grasshoppers first. Get some ammo. There we go. Okay, where do I swing? Right. Go hop first, right here. Oh, okay, deep. <laughs> Fucking deep. To say the least. Okay, I'm gonna kill these crates here. Alright, very good. <laughs> and some more crates. Alright. I suppose I gotta kick a ladder down or something for you. Um, I don't wanna jump down there. Am I supposed to jump down there? I don't know. Probably not, but I just jumped down. Wait, do I throw you up here? Maybe. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's not telling me where to go, so I assume you gotta do something. You, I kick the ladder down to you. Oh, cool. That works. I guess the only point of swinging was to get those items. Oh, you missed a bunch of crates up here. Really? 
I don't know if you can get back here. Yeah, there's a ladder on the other side. There's like an herb up here. That's pretty important. Some explosive rounds. That's pretty good. Yeah, herb. I got full herbs, so I'm good. Oh, fuck you. Ah, shit, nigga. Jake is pretty good with melee when he uses fists, but... I need more stamina for that shit. That doesn't change anything about this game. Changes everything. Alright, now we have to shoot down the helicopter. Oh, wonderful. I just jumped down. Um, oh, there's grasshoppers down here. Cool. Oh! That was a nice dodge. I almost think we should get uh, <clears throat> several uh, multiplayer games on PS3, like GTA 4, just so we can make more funny videos. I was telling Ryan we should get, we should all get GTA 4 on the PS3, so we can ball, make some cool videos. Although GTA 5's coming, so that'll be good enough. See, uh, GTA 4. Yeah. But if 5 is coming, there's no real point to buy in it, I guess. Yeah. Do you have it on PS3 already? No, but I was thinking of getting it just because... Just for collection's sake and having a copy I can play online for free. Right. Until they shut down the PSN servers, anyways. When are they gonna shut those down? Uh, I mean, they haven't said so, but they shut down the Xbox One servers eventually, and they shut down PS2 servers, so... I assume when the PS4 comes out, they'll shut them down eventually, which will suck, but... Whatever. Charge for online for PS3? At 4? Um... I don't know if they announced that yet, but I hope not. That's the one great thing they had going for them. And plus the Shipbox 720 is supposed to be, like, always online, even for single-player games, which would pretty much be a no-buy for me at all. That would be a no-buy for a lot of people, for sure. I still can't believe, like, that might be the case. Okay, we're supposed to shoot down the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. with what? Just any weapon, apparently. Do you have the grenade launcher thing? Um, help. We got normal firearms. What the fuck? Well, um, just kill this guy. So I'm trying to kill him with my elephant killer. It should be called Grasshopper Killer. I remember when the Magnum was actually cool. Like, now it's just, I don't know. It's more powerful, but... In, like, the... Old school Resident Evils, the Magnum was like a guaranteed killer. Yeah, that's its not main sure. point. Or like you specifically used it for bosses. Which I guess could be the case with this one, but I don't know. It was just more impactful for the old games. It was like. Like in Resident Evil 2, you save all your Magnum rounds for the end boss, and you wouldn't use them normally. Unless you were having fun, I guess. Yeah. Oh, a cutscene. I guess you shot it down. That's good. Yeah, I did too. So, where's the horror? Oh, there's Chris. Call Chris. Come on, let's go. Our orders so why is Chris just, like, staring at us? You know that Wesker was my father. Uh, I don't think so. Why? For a reason. They're just rubbed in the wrong way. So is this like before Chris's campaign or what? It's during Chris's campaign. Okay. All three of them happen at the same time. Oh, okay. It's confusing. All right, saved. I think this is a good ending point. Uh, fuck you, Capcom. Uh, maybe we'll do another video, but I'm sure we'll just be insulting you the whole time. So.
Yeah, suck my uh, big black fucking cock, you assholes. Alright, peace out.